Uh, today we're talking about your stove, your oven, your built-in oven, whatever. Could be a freestanding oven as well. And if you turn on your lights and they don't come on, you could have a problem. Hey, it's Bill Danny Man up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a Kenmore. This happens to be a built-in. And if you turn on your lights and they don't come on, you have your door open, it doesn't come on, it could be that you need new bulbs. And, and this one actually broke off when I tried to take it off. So what I had to do, basically I had to shut the power off so the power was shut off. And I had to take my needle nose pliers in here and grab that and twist it. And that's what I had to do. Now they actually make a special tool which is kind of like a little suction cup that goes in there to pull these out. But I had to use two needle nose pliers and grab one side and grab the other side to take it out. And that was a problem. A real problem. So, of course, you can't see very well now, but uh, normally uh, there's these little caps that go over the light bulb. And they're held in place with a small little strap. If you can see that or not, there's a little metal strap. It's like a little wire that goes across that cap. And you have to push that strap to the side in order to take this cap off. Okay, so since we got a little light in here, now we can look at this one here. And we can see that basically there's this little wire. If you don't have this uh, cover here, it's probably not a good idea to run it or a bulb directly. This cover helps to insulate and keep the bulb from wearing out too quick, basically. And if you get grease splattered up in there, it kind of keeps that from uh, happening. Uh, so anyway, and so basically we just sort of slip this to the side here, one side or the other, and that will come out. And then you can put your new bulb in. Now once you get the cap off, you can get your appliance bulb, and you can put it in here. And this one, just be very careful when you put it in. And don't put it in too tight. Just put it in tight enough so it makes a pretty good connection. And then maybe a little quarter turn tighter. And then your light should come on. And normally that light is on when the door is open. And when the door is shut, it shuts off. If the light stays on, it could be your switch right here is broken. And so these are kind of tricky because they're built in to fix. Um... Sometimes these will pull right out and then you can disconnect the wires. Of course, you'd want to shut the power off before you pull it out. Or sometimes they will actually go inside. It will fall inside of here. And if your switch is falling inside, then you'll have to remove the whole, uh, whatever, the side panels and then get back in there to do that. And these wall ovens are basically, they normally have screws going in the sides into the walls or straight in front here. So in order to pull these out, you have to take the screws out that are mounting it to the uh, wall. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. I teach a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. It includes a year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos. And I take two uh, new students per year. And so if you're interested in that, you can contact me. I also give phone advice for $25, 707-443-8347. And 9 to 5 Pacific Time. Thanks for watching.